happening where you are? Good morning, Isabel. Uh, we're here with a group of uh, yellow vests that have uh, come to the Crédit Agricole. Just banks and their idea this morning is to block staff from entering the bank. Their idea is to shut this uh, siege, this uh, headquarters here in the west of France uh, off. I'm here with uh, Gaëtan, he's one of the spokespeople of uh, this movement. Uh, why are you here today? The rising living costs in France, it became too expensive to live in France. That's what the message has been in the last few days. Uh, vous croyez que ça change quelque chose que ce mouvement-là, les gilets jaunes, peuvent changer la France Oui, complètement. Ça peut changer la France. On peut changer la France, voire même l'Europe. They can change France and even Europe. Merci beaucoup, Gaëtan. So their idea is to stay here all morning. They don't know whether police uh, will come and uh, and ask them to leave. Uh, for now, there are two police cars. Uh, they have been uh, watching uh, this group. Uh, for now, at least the situation is calm. But of course, uh, France is under uh, a lot of uh, pressure. The government is under a lot of pressure. A pressure that has been put in place by uh, these uh, demonstrators. So these demonstrators who are conducting multiple actions across the country. They have been gathering in uh, Paris, but also in different cities and their ideas uh, their idea is to not only uh, conduct those big demonstrations, but also actions like this to show their discontent with the policies of the government of Emmanuel Macron, but also with the policies of Europe and uh, other big institutions, they say, uh, are crushing the middle and lower classes. Well, Annalise, uh, you're mentioning the government there, and the government has voiced real concern about extremists joining protests, particularly in Paris. There's a real concern, isn't there, of an upsurge in violence in protests this weekend? Absolutely. Well, some of these yellow vests here in the west of France, here in Rennes, have been telling me that they don't actually want to go to Paris this weekend. They don't want to be part of what they believe is going to be a great wave of violence. They say that they would rather stay here and demonstrate in their city. However, in other parts of the country, we've heard from people say that they will go to Paris and they want to take this movement even further. They are asking other people uh, that have not joined the movement yet to come and join them in the streets of Paris. And of course, authorities are quite worried. They're now talking about uh, 90 thousand security personnel deployed across France this weekend. Uh, yesterday there was a succession, there was a succession of meetings in Paris to try and come up with a plan to try and avoid the violence, but there are uh, certain uh, spokespeople within the movement calling for the Yellow Vests to actually gather at the Elysee Palace, the residence of the French president.